Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today's episode of the Tremor Mod begins at night because I want to do something so that when I'm done doing it, it will be daytime, it will be nice and bright for you guys at home. So I have some gravity potions, today we're going to be working on another piece of armor. Now I'm not going in any particular order when it comes to this, I'm just kind of thinking of something I want to craft and going to craft it and then spending uh, the rest of the episode finding the stuff. So today we are going to find a floating island. Right, ooh, found one very brutally then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, at least we found one. <laughs> but yeah, we needed a floating island because I want to get some feathers. We're going to need some feathers for a new piece of armor that we need to craft today. Uh, let's not go splat this time. Oh, there you go. That's a problem when you're trying to talk and not concentrate. So I'm going to need 25 feathers. So I'm going to spend the first part of this episode uh, actually finding them. Ooh, listen real close, actually. Listen to this music. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you guys listen to this new music. And I'll cut out my audio and you guys can have a little listen while I kill some harpies if you want that. And I'll do that for a few seconds so you guys can appreciate this new music. Okay, so I'm going to leave that now. Really, really nice music. I didn't know that this mod had new music. I really, really enjoy that track. I see why it's not in the base game of Terraria, but it is really, really nice. It's a nice little remix and a nice little touch if you're making a mod. So I'm going to get 25 feathers, like I said, and then when I cut back in, we'll be making a new piece of armor or a new set. So I just need how many more feathers? 24. So it's going to take a little bit of time, sadly. Do you know what, now that I think about it, this music is a remix, but it seems to be a remix of the console edition version of the Sky Biome, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it sounds something like that. Hey, so I came to the dungeon essentially just to get some water candles, because I was struggling to, to kill off all the uh, all the things that I wanted to kill uh, in the Sky Biome, and uh, I came across this little dude, Peepers. So we're going to give him Peepers Creepers, we're going to kill him. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, oh, what did you drop? A sharpened shark tooth. A sharpened tooth. Nice. Should we go back and grab that while we can? I feel like we shall. I'm going to go back and grab it and see what else there is around the area. Like I said, I was just off for a water candle real quick because I needed some more uh, harpies to spawn. Well, it took a really stupidly long time, but I got 25 feathers and a giant feather. So, yeah. Absolutely awesome. What is going on with that dude's... Body, what's going on with him? Right, okay. So, now that we have it, we can start crafting some stuff. I'm not sure exactly where we craft it. Let's have a little look. Uh, we just need our silk. I don't know where I've placed it. It's definitely not in my inventory. So, oh, it's there. Right, okay. Alright, let's see what we can make. So, we can make... Oh, we don't actually have enough silk to make the whole thing. I didn't know how much silk we'd need, so I just made a little bit of a guess. So let's see, you can make a harpy helmet, a hood, and a ranged helmet. So let's see, let's for example, let's look at the helmet. 10% increased melee damage. What's this? 4% increased melee damage. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to go with. I really don't know. Mm, the helmet does seem pretty good right now, I'm not going to lie. Helmet seeming pretty awesome. Oh, I'm going to go with the helmet. I'm going to go with the helmet, and we're going to go get some more silk. So we're going to do that together. Uh, because I thought it'd be a good little adventure. We'll also go mine for some rubies. A lot of people have been really annoyed that I haven't mined all of the rubies <laughs> in an area. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. You'll see. Alright, let's see. Have we got any mining potions? Yep, I'll grab one. Cool, let's take that now because it lasts like eight minutes. Alright, so let's go. 
<laughs> Alright, so after we've actually crafted this harpy set, I believe we'll probably do a Brains of Cthulhu fight at some point. I don't know if that's going to be today, but that is the next in the evolution. Or, alternatively, we can go look for some heart crystals because we do need them to progress further. Uh, I was getting my ass beat in the dungeon, so I don't know how long I'd last in there without some more heart crystals. So, we could always do that. That would be a good little thing to do, because it seems like, and we saw in a small little clip, they have new enemies there. And I think it'd be cool to go and get some of them. It'd definitely be cool. Alright, okay, so this is the uh, stack of rubies that everyone's uh, annoyed that I haven't grabbed. <laughs> don't grab all this now. And I believe there's a few more rubies on the way, so... Uh, we should be able to craft a hook or something. I've not been too bothered about a hook. I mentioned yesterday it'd be nice to have one, but I wasn't too bothered. Once again, people took that as an offense because I didn't grab all the rubies on the way. People, calm down about rubies. If you haven't watched a series of mine before, you'll know that I don't do a lot of mining. Mining is not my thing in Terraria. I like to take alternate routes, and uh, that's what we're going to do in this series as well. Okay. Right, let's go this way. We're looking for cobwebs, aren't we? So we've got to make sure we keep an eye out for them. If I find a spider biome, that should uh, kind of progress things further. Really, like, really fast. Okay, let's come down here. Alright, we've got a few cobwebs there. We'll just grab whichever ones we can, actually, now that I'm here. Don't want to be fussy with cobwebs, I'm going to just grab them all. Okay. And there's an area down here that we can keep moving on. Oh, lots of emeralds. Lots of emeralds. I want to annoy people. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Okay, let's get all these emeralds too. Alright, now, if we find an area, uh, like a spider biome or something like that, that would end the quest for cobwebs real fast. But if not, we're just going to keep progressing through because I said I needed heart crystals. And like I say, I need cobwebs. So, just going on a little trip should hopefully find like both of them if you get me in in like one rapid succession okay oh we're stuck down here now see that have been a good time for a grappling hook because we could have uh, grappled our way out of here oh man right okay let's kill the cave golem that's obviously a new enemy kind of cool kind of cool i like it i like it i've been enjoying the new enemies so far some of them have a little bit janky uh, sprite work done to them but I've been enjoying them. It's nice to see some fresh faces in the game. Ooh, lots of cobwebs up here. Let's grab them. Man, it is spring cleaning in Terraria for me today. Have I, uh... Oh, I may as well grab them over here. I was about to say, I haven't checked out this house, but most definitely I have. Alright, grab them. Okay, we're getting a good amount. We're getting a good amount. And the good thing about... I just want to say this now. The good thing about bringing you guys along for this little, uh quest to get some cobwebs, it's not the simple fact of getting cobwebs is the funnest thing to do. It's that so much random stuff happens in this mod when I'm walking around and I, I've been missing it recently, uh, like on camera and such. I wanted to show it off on camera and really like show you what this mod's all about. So I want to show you what it's like to just walk through caves and stuff. May as well hop on this, because I'm not going to be getting off until the granite biome anyway. There we go. Alright, okay, let's come down here. And let's take a different route. Let's go down here instead. Is there an area down here? Oh, there is a little uh, there is a little area that we can mine to, so we'll mine through here. Are we gonna find anything good? I wonder. I wonder what's gonna be on the other side. We just need like a nice open cave area. That'd be good. That'd be real good. Okay, grab all these cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a lot, it seems, because even with... How many did we have? We had 17, and we still didn't have enough to even see the chest piece. Which suggests that the chest piece is around, like, 25 cobwebs, I imagine. Uh, well, 25 silk, so I don't know how many cobwebs I actually is. I should have probably checked before we set off. Okay. Ooh! In the hell region. Okay, let's go this way. Right. Oh, this, that's just the end of a track. We could probably get off here. Kill this dude for one. Even though it's dark. Ooh, oh, I placed one and took it down at the same time. Okay. There we go. Kill that dude. Now let's see. Oh, there's some more gems over here. Maybe want to grab these. Maybe not. We'll grab them. We'll grab them because we can. 
Okay. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Okay, we've seen nothing new so far. We'll give it time. Well, what am I doing? There we go. I'm not doing too well in terms of health. Ah, no. Yeah, I'm not doing too well at all. Right, so I'm going to cut back in. I'm probably going to go do some more spelunking and stuff, and uh, we'll see what we find. Unfortunately, then, we didn't manage to find anything new, and here I am rattling on about, oh, it's great to bring you guys along for the adventure, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, we've got an emerald hook. I think that's the worst hook, isn't it? Or is it a topaz hook? I cannot remember. Right, well, anyway, we're going to we're gonna get our silk. Where's our silk at? Oh, it's over here at the loom. We're going to get some silk. Wow, it's seven pieces per one, so we still don't have enough. Actually, do you know what? Let's ask the guide. Feathers. Chest piece. Right, you need ten for the... Oh. You craft it at a loom. What's the point? I don't get... What's the point of that? So we can actually craft the chest piece. Oh. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Right, we just need to go make the legs now. Okay, awesome. So we're like... Two steps of the third way there, sure. Alright, I'm going to come back in in a minute with the stuff that we need. Aha! I said this earlier that this would be the solving of our problems. Literally, found a spider biome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, and that means that we can make a spider staff once we get into hard mode. Which is even more awesome. Which I'm pretty sure you'll all agree. Alright, this is the perfect area to generate all these cobwebs then. So now we'll never have to worry about stuff that needs cobwebs. And there is a lot of stuff in the game, or this mod, that needs cobwebs. Oh, we are golden. Good, good, good. Right, are we going to find anything else in here? Are we Are going to find a heart crystal? That'd be good. That would top off uh, this episode of looking for stuff in the nature of worlds and stuff and whatever. We're going to find out... Ooh, found a second... Um, found a second lot of rail, which is nice. Ooh! Ooh, my god, found a lot of spiders too! Ah, my god! I thought I could tank that. Heal up. There we go. Alright, kill that dude. Oh my god, you're over here too. Alright, well that was a that was a very interesting area. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. One, two. Nice. Oh, I found that. When did I find that? I'm sorry if I didn't see that by the way. What's it called? The arach uh arachnophobia. Which is the technical term for the name, or for the fear of spiders, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, but if you didn't, arachnophobia, my friends. This is an interesting item. Interesting mechanic. Let's go and test it on something. Am I wearing my, I think, yeah. Whoa, I was about to say, I think I, I think I am, but yeah, I am. I'm wearing my, uh, my melee armor, so. Alright, okay. Let's come up here, just real quick. Ooh, there's a nice little house there. Nice little house in the granite biome. Okay. Ooh, it's doing good damage actually. It really is doing good damage. I like it. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, well I'm done testing stuff out. I'm going to cut back to the house in a minute and uh, we're going to finish up that armor set. Okay, I don't know why you didn't see this before, but I've just realized, I don't know if you saw it too, but... When it lays the eggs, look, it has these little spiders that pop out. That is a that is creepy. Creepy but also badass. Look at them. Freaky man, really freaky. Okay, we're back home. I got some gold dye as well, so we've upgraded from copper to gold, which is uh really nice when you think about it. Alright, so I'm gonna make a yo-yo string just because I wanted one, and let's get crafting the rest of this silk for one. Alright, okay, that's nice. And then let's see. So, leggings are here, that's what we need, right? Okay, awesome. So, we got the chest plate, the helmet, and the leggings. Alright, brings us up to 15 defense. This yo yo now does 20, or oh, we can swap back over. We've got 12 defense, and that does 21. So, uh, I don't know what the set bonus really is on this. Uh, increased jump height allows you to slow fall, uh, to slow, <laughs> allows you to fall slowly. So, do you always fall slowly? Oh, right, okay, so you push down when you wanna. That's nice, I like that. Yeah, that's a nice little feature, actually. I like that. And then we got our arachnophobia, which is just baller when you think about it. It really is baller. Right, so we're going to try out against an enemy boss. A boss enemy. Uh, something that's boss and hurts. Uh, so we're going to need some little stuff. We're going to need a day bloom. Two day bloom. We're going to need a mushroom. Uh, a little bit of iron. A little bit of iron. 
Right, let's get that crafted. Regen and iron skin. And then I'm going to need some bombs. I, I want to make sure I've got some bombs. I think I do. How many do I have? Do I have any in my inventory? Nope. Um, right, okay, got some bombs. Right, let's make them stick, eh? Oh, no, I don't think I'll need to, actually, now that I think about it. Right, okay. So we're going to go do a little boss fight. I think it'll be fun. I'm not too sure if I'll actually win with what I've got at the minute. But I think it'll be fun just to try out and stuff. So we're going to try it out. If I lose this one, I lose this one. Alright, so I'll see you in a second for a boss fight. Okay, we are ready to almost start this boss fight. We need to destroy these little heart thingies. Alright, okay, so that's one. And then we need the second one. Which we're going to do in a second. I haven't done this fight, by the way, in a very long time. Because I don't actually think I've done it in 1.3 yet. I've never had... Well, I've never. I've not had a Crimson World yet. Like, I'm not in, like, any of my series yet. So this is the first one. So uh, we'll see how we do. I don't know how well I'm going to do. That's all I'm trying to say. Is I just... I, like, I don't want to set you up for, like, what is going to be a really good fight. Because I don't know. <laughs> right. So, let's do this. Right, okay. Right, let's remember to breathe. Okay. Right, let's let's get this done. Alright, okay. Alright, let's get these uh, brains going. And then let's get buffs going. Alright, okay. Remember we've gotta take out these uh we're gonna take out the, the little creepers first, so that takes a time. Uh, so hopefully we manage to get them done quite fast. Oh, actually, do you know what? We're not doing too bad on the... Uh, uh, I didn't know we'd managed to... Uh, here's me, like, storing. I didn't know we'd managed to actually get these killed as fast as we have. The little tissue sample things. Man, I'm severely underestimating myself with the, all these overpowered items. Because they are kind of overpowered, but it's cool. It's cool. I like them. I like them. A great item to use here is obviously just the, the Crimson Fork, but I wanted to use all the stuff that we found today. Wow, seriously? That is some insane damage. Wow. Kick that one ass, didn't we? Oh, wow. The hell is that? Crimson blah blah blah. Yes. Man, pronouncing things is not my forte. Nice. All right, so that's another boss done. Uh, kind of an interesting fight, really. That was, uh, that was kind of nice. I like that one. All right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. If you could leave a like rating on today's episode, that would be awesome. Let me know that you appreciate the series. Uh, oh, so interestingly, it has Featherfall always uh, on. That's how that works. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. So, yeah, have a fantastic day, everyone. I will see you all very soon, I'm sure. Uh, thank you for supporting the series. It's absolutely awesome. I really do appreciate when you guys do that. So, seriously, like, episode goes out to all the people who have been supporting the series and stuff and just being absolutely awesome. Thank you all for watching, my name is James, and remember that you can find the link for this in the description below. Actually, do you know what? Let's put our little mannequin on, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll officially have an episode completed. So we found a new piece of armor today, and we took down a boss. I love it. Let's have a little look, actually, at this without the die and stuff, just so you guys can see. What do you guys think of this? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Nice, look at that, swinging the sword as well. Alright, have a fantastic day everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.